JR asked, for a beginner who's wanting to improve as much as they can, how much time a day should they allot for practice? How much time a day should a beginner practice? Okay, here's the formula. Okay, the formula is effort plus time times logic. Hmm, times logic. Times logic equals improvement. So if you put in, say, your effort is 100, your time is 100, and you use zero logic, it's still going to be zero. Wow, that's a good formula. You know that it's one of those things where uh, focus practice and practice with a purpose comes into play. Is that kind of what the logic issue is there, right? Yeah, like just... but I feel like practice with a purpose doesn't mean that it's absolutely logical. So to bulletproof that statement, it needs to have that word logic in there. Hmm. It can't have the word common sense in there either. Because at one Ooh. time, common sense was to own a slave to do your work. So would you say the logic is uh, the cause and effect of what you're practicing? Logic is pointing the effort and the time in the right direction. You know, you put in effort and logic, but no time. Is that going to do anything? No, you didn't do it for long enough. Right? right? You put in the time and the logic, but you don't put in the effort. Well, that's not going to do anything either. So it's not just as simple as how many hours in a day to answer the question, I guess. Exactly. It's, it's all about that, that formula. That's a good formula. I you like that formula You can spend all day, every day with the most effort to draw straight lines up and down. And you will be great at drawing straight lines, but you won't be, people won't be able to hire you. Because there wasn't the logic applied right. to what you practiced. You I go. get you. That's good. That's that third element. I think a lot of people talk about time and effort. But don't talk enough about logic. Yeah, and, and, what and you if I could kind of like dovetail into another little thing, not enough people try to use their logic. Too many of us, we, we assume other people already have thought it through. It's logical to them, so it's logical. And then they just do it. For example, how many people have you heard where they say, yeah, my, my teacher told me, uh, don't become a character designer. It's too hard. There's not enough jobs out there. Don't be an artist. You're not meant to be an artist. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. It's like these kind of things, they are supposed to be our advisors. They're supposed to be people that know more than us, help to guide us. Don't trust that completely. That's what really I, good advice. Absolutely trust it if it's logical to you. So what I'm saying is everything that everybody says to you, whatever we say as well, think about it. If it's logical, then do it. If it's logical, then believe in it. If it's not logical, don't do it. Don't believe in it. But on the flip yeah, side I mean, of that, too many people, they hear stuff and they go, yep, logical. I like it. I'm going to tell all my friends and they don't do it. Right? So the first part was if it's logical to you, do it. You got to do it. 